Hello friends, I hope you are doing well and in today's video I'm going to work on a gouache illustration. I will be using both my acrylic and regular gouache for this illustration. This is actually a redraw of a painting I did over two years ago. I thought it would be fun to revisit this idea and maybe improve upon it as well. I have a very small collection of acrylic gouache. I purchased a primary set and then I recently added to that collection with the Sibylline and Mosery art kit. I only had one repeat color which was the ivory black and I do have two types of white. Titanium white is often opaque and has a stronger tinting strength than primary white which is less opaque. I'm assuming the primary white is a form of zinc white sometimes known as your mixing white. I mostly use my reds from Holbein and Emgram because this illustration is primarily in pinks. I only use yellow and burnt cyan or cyan, I'm not sure which one is the correct pronunciation, um, for the skin tones. The original illustration was a mixed media painting done in watercolor, gouache, and acrylic gouache, and I did use some inks for the highlight. I mainly painted back in the day in just watercolors, and I used ink to add highlights. I wasn't overly familiar with my gouache, and I honestly didn't spend a lot of time learning how to use them. Other than the few years of practicing with acrylic paints, I would say even now I'm not overly familiar with my acrylic gouache and that's just because I haven't practiced enough with it. I'm more familiar with acrylic paint from my years of painting with acrylics and for some reason I like the feeling and the blendingness of acrylic gouache but I don't really know how I want to use it in my paintings. I've toyed around with the idea of using them for small wood panel paintings or maybe canvas work but I don't have the space right now to give it a try. I think the main reason why I don't use my acrylic gouache as much is because it's very opaque. It's more opaque than my regular gouache 
and it's a bit scary for someone like me who relies a lot on my sketch layer. I tend to use acrylic gouache very thickly, sometimes not intending to. I find watering it down gives me a very weird consistency that I don't really enjoy, and I haven't figured out that water to paint ratio yet, so I tend to work with it very thickly. That's not really my style or comfort with painting, so I'm still on the fence with it. Using the Sibyline Art Kit has taught me a different way of using the acrylic gouache. I noticed that she also outlines in her painting process as well, so she doesn't lose her sketch lines while painting in acrylic gouache. I'm not sure if she does this with all of her illustrations, but it's a pretty common step in her book. Not all artists that I like use this method with painting with gouache, but I find it works best for me and my art style. I don't outline in gouache, I use watercolors. I find that even though I do wash over them, still stains and cements my pencil sketch, so I'm able to see them until I no longer need them to continue with the painting. I'm curious if there are other techniques that you use while painting with gouache. Do you work with thin washes of paint like I do, or do you tend to work thick right away? Have you tried outlining your work before painting and has it worked for you? I'm curious because I always look for ways to tweak my techniques a little at a time and it's amazing to me that I'm getting so many nice comments about my art style so uh, thank you so much for that. I never thought I would have an art style and I kind of stopped worrying about it while going through my art journey and trying to prove how I draw and paint portraits. I was so focused on changing and learning and basically copying my favorite artists to really focus on like my own techniques and once I embarked on this art journey and focused on just learning how to paint portraits I found that I've improved a lot and I've become more focused on learning and I think I, I think that's finally paid off.
Overall, I'm happy with how the painting turned out, and I can see hints of my style change, but also see the similarities between both of the paintings. I like both paintings, and I feel happy to see the improvement in my own painting techniques. Which one is your favorite? The one from two years ago or the one from today? Promise no wrong answers. Thank you so much for being here and giving this video a like and commenting down below. To keep up to date on what I'm working on, follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, take care.